You know, Courtney, this jobs report, did it cost you to make any changes to your portfolio? Correct. Yeah, I, I would say, if anything, the jobs report just kind of reaffirmed our current views that we're likely going to see inflation kick in. Because really, what we saw is there's clearly a shortage in labor right now, and that's causing increase in wages, which isn't even really justified by the report that came out. You're even seeing companies are incentivizing people to come in. I believe McDonald's is actually offering $50 just for people to come in for an interview, believe it or not. So there's clearly a shortage in, in labor, which is going to increase wages, which is therefore going to increase inflation. So it's just so much more important that you make sure you have those inflation hedges in your portfolio and making sure you own real assets with real profits. Things like Bitcoins, like long-term growth stocks, are not necessarily going to perform as well in that inflationary environment. Uh, Courtney, I know you liked emerging markets in the past, and I want to ask you about the dollar. It keeps going lower and lower. I think it's great news for U.S. multinationals, but uh, is there a point where it gets too low, where you become nervous and it impacts the, uh, negatively the market? Yeah, not necessarily. I, I do agree with you. Multinationals, but definitely your international companies are going to benefit from the fact that the dollar is weakening, which very well might continue. And that is going to benefit things like your emerging markets, which you mentioned. Because you look at places like China, they're expected to grow about twice as much as the U.S. is, and their valuations are lower. And if the dollar continues to weaken, it's only going to exacerbate that. And you're going to see with foreign investors, it is less incentivized to own U.S. assets when there's cheaper valuations elsewhere. And it's actually not even just emerging markets. When you look at things like uh, Europe, for example, that's expected to grow faster than the U.S. is next year, which I don't think a lot of people are, are realizing. And so looking at that with the dollar weakening, it's just so important to have those pieces in your portfolio right now because it very well may continue.